Hey everybody, how's it going? John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. Another day, another shave. Good to see you guys and gals. Um, just started, sorry, just started raining. As soon as I hit play, I just started picking up rain outside. Last video I did, it was raining. Go figure. April showers and all that, I suppose, even though it's not April yet. Um, hope everyone's been doing good the last week or so, seven days. I think it's been since I've done the video, six. Um, yeah, I've been busy, you know, trying, the weather's been ridiculous. We, we went below freezing for like three days again. One day we woke up, it was three degrees, if you can believe that. So I've been, I go out, start raking leaves and it gets windy. Then I stop, get frustrated, start doing house stuff. It's just been topsy turvy with the weather. So whatever. Uh, today I'm going to be shaving with, uh, Amaretto from Moon Soaps. Um, this stuff is yummy. I, I, I'm a huge almond soap fan, apparently, because I, I realized through talking to Chad what my favorite uh, type of soap was, scent profile, which is Barbershop. Because he asked me, just like, which ones do you have the most of? And I said, Barbershop. Didn't even hesitate. And I went, oh, interesting. So I've noticed I've been subconsciously been accumulating uh, almond so there oh, I wish I could eat this stuff it's a cream um, it's a thicker consistency than Trumpers but it's, it's definitely a cream just under what I would call a crope because if you touch it it'll it'll stick to your finger so I'll be doing that I'll be doing the balm the balm and since they don't have splashes yet, there's a scuttlebutt that they're coming. They're going to be coming out with splashes soon. Uh, I did talk to Melody. They're redoing uh, Sorrento, the scent profile and stuff. So that she kind of hinted they have some stuff in the works. So wish them luck with that. So I will be using my almond cream from Sterling for the splash. Pre-shave. It's my lather and wood pre-shave oil. One of my favorites. Um, and my razor today will be the Fine Accoutrements Marvel, which I've really been wanting to use this thing for a long time. Just got it from um, Gareth at Shave Supply. These have been discontinued. They're gonna stop making, they've already stopped making them, so if you see them, grab one up. $40 retail, uh, 42 at Razor Company. And speaking of Razor Company, all this stuff I'm gonna be using here, um, the splash, the moon soaps, all of it. I don't think the lather and wood though, but all um, the ra sorry, the razor, the splash, the balm, and the soap. All four of those are at the razor company. So, and the blades I'll be using are Shark Super Stainless. Never used these first time, and I'm going in blind. So I decided with new razors, I'm not even going to look up anything about them. I'm just going to use them. See what I think of them. If I cut myself up, oh well. Lesson learned. So let me get into this. I'm really excited to use this stuff. It's a good soap. Moon soaps is good stuff, anyways. But I got a special place in my heart for moon soaps. They're really good. And since it's a cream, <laughs> I wish I could eat it. That's why I'm doing that. Like it smells so good. Oh. So yummy. So with creams, I gotta be careful. Obviously, you gotta be careful with creams, but I don't know if I can. I do swirl around. The consistency, I'm used to Trumpers. The consistency is a lot different. I'm probably gonna get too much. I usually do with creams. Oh, and the brush I'm using, sorry. This is a Frank shaving. Uh, Red Crackle, I think it's called. Badger brush. Best Badger, I believe. Not pure Badger, best Badger. Got some water in it, sorry. Oh. If you never use moon soaps, you need to try moon soaps. This stuff is great.
Um, anyway, so recently, I just actually recently, t yesterday, uh, talked to Jason at the Razor Company on the phone. And he asked me if I'd be interested in um, doing a, there's an A word, I should have looked it up before I mentioned it. An alliance, I'll call it an alliance, I guess. That's so stupid and silly sounding, but it is technically. But basically, if I, in my videos, if I, uh, oh yeah, that's thin, look at that. If I mention the razor company on the videos and someone makes a purchase based on one of my videos or my mentions, I get a uh, commission. Yeah, I didn't do that right at all. Look how thin that is. Try to thicken that up. Sorry, gang. Like I said, I'm not really used to the creams. Uh, yeah, I get a 10% commission. How cool is that? So there's going to be all kinds of links posted in the comments. If you don't mind taking a look or if you want to buy any of this stuff or you're already thinking of it. if you So there's a code you can use. And the code is Cape John. Coupon code. And that tells Jason that you're... You're not sent by me, but you know what I mean. That I am somehow involved in your purchase. Or if you just want to be awesome. And give me a reason to go to my wife and go see. Videos paid off. Literally. That would be amazing. Um, so when you go check out at the coupon code, if you can put CAPE. As in cape, like Superman cape. John. That would be cool. Or just click on the links I'm putting below if you want to get any of these goodies at Razor Company. I would sincerely appreciate it. Just a bonus. I'll be mentioning it in my videos now while I'm doing it, but I'm not going to alter the videos to become a Commercial, don't worry. I'll just probably mention it maybe once in the beginning, once at the end, or maybe just at the end. I don't know. To be honest with you, I'm not comfortable mentioning it at all because I'm not a salesman. But I was very flattered. Jason's given me these awesome opportunities. I'm still doing trying to do videos for his youtube channel too so that's still a thing but uh that's that's really cool you know i just view it as he, he picked me i know he picked other people too but i mean if i'm on that list i'm, I'm extremely flattered because i still consider myself quite the noob at this so appreciate it guys um what else whoopsie but again, all this stuff you can, that I'm shaving with, except for the blades and the brush, you can get at his, at the website or on Instagram. You know me, I like taking forever leather. So. All right. So, look my towel over here. That is a new Cheng Fu Sing. I know I'm butchering that pronunciation. Very sorry. I'm not trying to be a smart ass. Uh, that is a shave soap, if you can believe it, in a tin that I just acquired from Razor Company. I'm not being a smart ass. Sorry. I just, I like those commercials, like the infomercial. But this stuff's, I, I love the tin, the Barber Pole tin, but I also was perplexed on how they could put a soap in a tin and I got to show you this. I have no clue how I'm supposed to use this stuff. Looks like a powder. So that'll be fun to experiment with. I might do it on camera for the first time. Completely do it incorrectly. So thought that'd be a neat little prop since I don't have any major stuff in the background here. All right. So first use. 
of the Shark Blade, um, Eric Adams, um, did a video about using this. He's actually the reason I found out that these were being discontinued. Um, Better Every Shave on YouTube. So go check him out. He has some great videos he puts out. But he likened the shape of this. Look at those safety bars. He likened the shape of this to a space shuttle, like a, a moon a moon shuttle. And he included a photo. And once you look up a moon shuttle, this is that's I, I'm not going to mess with that description at all. It was beautifully perfect. Just it it does. It made me laugh, especially when he put the photo. Um, so it's a very unique looking razor. Um, from what I've heard from Gareth at uh, Shave Supply, he said the fine accoutrements guy puts out a new razor every couple of years. So it's not a surprise to him that he discontinued them because they were released, I think, in 2019. But all right, guys, 11 minutes in. Sorry. All right, first pass, first use of the blade, first use ever for me, and first use on my face with the fine accoutrements marble. Hmm. It is really hard for me to line up the beard line. But that's just because I'm not used to using it. I do have a zit. You can probably see it right there. It scared me. I thought it was an ingrown hair at first. I haven't had an ingrown. It's so funny. I Once I had that revelation, I was like, couldn't be. And then it made me wonder, when's the last time I had an ingrown hair? And I think it was about a year ago. That had to do with shaving on my face. Actually, ever, I think. That's gross. I don't know why I'm going into detail with that. But. Um, not bad. News just popped up on my phone. Biden to release 1 million barrels of oil, it said. Cool. I won't get into that. I was, that was just on the news on my phone. It seemed interesting. I don't do politics on here. I like politics. I like talking about politics, but I get it. So I try really hard not to get into them on here. Same with the cussing. I noticed for a few videos, I was kind of starting to lighten up on the cuss words and I didn't like it. I think I've mentioned that before. Try to be really careful with it. Uh, so these shark razor blades, I almost said shark razors, these shark blades seem all right. If anyone has any expertise about them, I know people do. Those who do have expertise, I should say, maybe you can Message me or comment below about them. I know nothing about them. I know they're made in Egypt. Big surprise there. But between the blades, the awesome soap I'm using product, and this razor, this is a really nice shave. I don't feel any, there's no blade feel. And Eric had commented on the amount of blade exposure on this razor, and he is not kidding. I mean, that's millimeter easy. Hopefully you can see it. There you go, perfect. That's a lot of blade exposure. I mean, a lot. That's daunting to me. I see that much blade and I'm like, oof, man, that makes me nervous. But he also mentioned that safety bar, which is huge. 
I've never seen a safety bar that big. Which obviously must be intentional, plus the curve of the blade. That's a big blade curve. Sorry, I was out of frame there. Man, it's raining. That sucks. Sick of rain. I know we need it, but man. I missed the snow. We actually did, if you can believe it, get snow. I think the day after, or a couple days after my last video, it snowed. I was out at the bus stop with my kids and it was snowing, which was nice. It was nice to see snow one last time, but I'm kind of officially at the point where it's like, can we just... It's been warm a couple times. It's gotten me in the mood for warm weather. Can we just get to the warm weather? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's thin. I am not great with the uh, creams. And I get enough to shave with, but I'm, you know, it comes out thick and very bubbly. The bubbles are big. For the lather, which isn't supposed to, it's not supposed to be. The Trumpers I got down, Trumpers I can get on there. The coconut Trumpers is one of my favorite creams. Let's see, it'll come out like that and then it goes on just really thin with the big bubbles. So I put too much water. It's frustrating, but oh well. I didn't do it justice, I don't think, in this video. That's all right. I think I did too much water, not enough cream. Get in there and get some more. 17 minutes. There we go. But things going on in the world is getting crazy. There's the economy and all that. We need shaves more than ever, don't we? Used to be my routine that I Wake up in the morning, put on the news and have the news background noise. And I'd listen to that while I was in the kitchen, getting all the kids breakfasts and lunches and all that ready. And now my son's older, 15, soon to be 16 in August here, my oldest. And he's very in tune to the stuff now on the news, just because, you know, people talk about it at school now and stuff. So now between that and just I'm sick of hearing the BS, I don't really, I noticed that I change it to Science Channel or History Channel in the mornings now. Hubble just viewed the most distant star it's ever seen. Twenty-eight billion. Let me say that again. 28 billion, not million, billion light years away. When the universe was 6% of the age it is now. Because looking that far away looks back in time because light travels at a finite speed. So if you're looking at something that far away, it started shining that long ago because it took that long to get to us. Nick myself. It's easy because of this angle to get the blade angle right and I still nick myself. I think I was nervous about getting near my Adam's apple which I always am. And I wasn't paying attention. I really got myself. Look at that. And maybe it's the blaze. And yet again, I missed the pimple. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty interesting, I think. I, that's the kind of news I like to hear about. I thought that was pretty cool. 28 billion. It's a long way. Long way.
And then uh, another thing I'm, that's on my mind is my wife is going to leave next week for a week for work. So she leaves Sunday morning, this coming Sunday, two days from now. And she'll be gone until Friday. Well, less than a week, so five days. Late Friday, almost Saturday, I think. So I'm, I'm anxious because it's not often it's just me with the kids, but I mean, I'm excited too in a way because I, um, I don't want to see her go, obviously. That's not what I mean, but like, I kind of like, I don't know, I guess I kind of enjoy feeling that useful that, you know, I can run the household alone. That makes sense. Not that I'm incapable, not that it's anything against her. I just, it makes me feel useful and good. You know, that, that she can trust me to do that big of a responsibility. It sounds really bad, like she doesn't trust me or something. That's not what I mean. I don't know. Maybe I'm, hopefully you know what I mean. So I was joking with her. I like busting her chops. Um, I had said, I hope you don't, you know, go off. And I said, behave. She's like, of course. She's like, how am I going to misbehave anyways? I said, I don't know. You might meet some muscle bound loincloth wearing cabana boy. And she goes, you do understand that I'm going to Suffolk, Virginia, right? <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> She's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, I'm inhaling soap. So let me pause this, rinse my face off. I'll be right back. Hello, I have returned. Dude, I got some soap in there bad. Look, I had some booger sugar up in, you know, just all white. If you get my drift, sorry. Gross. Um, so, where was I? Duh. Good Lord. Oh, I brought this in, completely forgot I brought it in. I was going to actually show you, since it's not hanging up. The reason I didn't use it this time was because, unfortunately, so I found out this is for a brush, this is not for splash. Um, the splash I brought in, I was going to use the splash anyways, but the sterling doesn't fit in here and the brush I used, the French shaving doesn't fit in here. So I decided not to use it this time, but that gives me an opportunity to show you up close what it looks like. Um, it's from a 3d printer. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that means. The lines and stuff, but you see how I did the hooks there with the suction cup. And then I did put some cardboard back here for when it does hang up. Cause I was going to plan to use, I did plan to use it for this video, but I ended up last second, not doing it, but that'll keep it flush. Made a little spring out of cardboard here. So I didn't want to glue it. I could do a better job, but I didn't want to alter it. I wanted to keep it, you know, if I had to remove it or send it back, or if they wanted for any reason me to take photos of it unaltered. Um, so there's that. And then I did forget to mention there's a YouTube channel it's called Gent Behind Ascent is the name of his channel. He's doing a giveaway. He's uh, trying to reach 200 followers, excuse me, subscribers, not followers, 200 subscribers on his YouTube channel. He's 10 away. So he's giving away two $25 gift cards, shave gift cards. Um, I can't exactly remember where I should. Um, but if you go to his channel and check him out and subscribe, you could win those cards. He does. Um, I've only watched one of his videos. I just met him recently. And I notice I'm starting to pile up the people I'm meeting that I want to watch their videos. And I feel really bad. Sorry, Eric, uh, John Kearney, all you guys. Um, I've been slacking. Greg, I haven't forgotten you guys. Sorry, I haven't watched you in a while. But, uh, yeah, so good shave except for that. I really got myself good. Um because of that, I wanted to complain and say this razor sucks. It doesn't. I just didn't. I'm not used to it. It's the first time I've used it. Um, it's actually smooth. It's a really, it's different. It's really unique. Like I said, the blade exposure and all that. I think I actually went sideways. 
It won because I was doing something that I just I moved. And you can actually kind of see like the marks from when I went sideways. So that was a stupid, very novice thing that I did there. Um, until that point, I was really enjoying the shave with this thing. Could be a little heavier. You think it, I mean, I like heavy razors anyway, so that's a, that's a preference. That's not a complaint, like a reason not to get it. And the handle's short, but I mean, that's standard for a lot of, a lot of razors. I also like long handles, so also not a reason not to get it. But all in all, that's a good shave. Uh, let me throw on the splash real quick. I gotta use their almond cream soap on here, Sterling Yummy. Gotta use a lot of their soaps on here. I've used Christmas Eve. Ooh, that hurt. What else have I used on here? Executive Man. I just shaved with. I didn't make a video with it though, did I? I think I did, didn't I? I think I did. I'll have to go back and look. I don't even remember my own videos. Oh, one of those days, I guess. Wow, that matches well. They're both good, but I was afraid they wouldn't go well together. But holy hell, that's whew, that smells really good. In the balm. The balm. Settle alcohol. Optifin Plus. Cool. There's a transformer in my post shape bomb. I have no idea what that is. I need to go look that up. Anything curious, I go look up usually. Mmm. 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 Mm. So, out of Moon Soaps, I have uh, Amaretto. Old school, warmest regards. Hello, Melody. You say that to me all the time, to everybody. That's why it's named Warmest Regards. Amaretto, old school, warmest regards. Tobacco, flower, and union. Union I want to try next. And like I said, their Sorrento is being reworked. It's still for sale also at the Razor Company. I might get it somehow in some way, shape, or form, just to compare it to the new formulation, so, who knows. This one went a little longer, but oh well. I forget who told me, I think it was, maybe it was Justin at Red Island Shaver. J-Mac said if they want to fast forward, they can fast forward. Or maybe that was you, Blair, I don't know. Somebody, someone smarter than myself. There's plenty of those on here. <laughs> But, all right. Already stopped. Um, I'll call it a damn fine shave. Why not? I gash myself, but I feel very, very nice post-shave. So, DFS, definitely. Appreciate it, guys. So, if you could, if you're going to buy any of this stuff, click on the links. If not, if you just feel like being awesome and helping me out, so my wife can go, holy crap, you're making money off your videos now. Or for, yeah, mainly for that, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I was going to say, do, do the coupon code. It's uh, Cape John. Just one word for the code. I would really appreciate it, guys and gals. And thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Good seeing you guys. Happy shaving. Take it easy.